uh, I want to show you today an uh, important uh, issue which I was facing with respect to AlphaScore. And uh, let's go there. Uh, let's see first our Tomcat is running. Okay, now generally what happens is that uh, when you go for a product, you download that and then uh, you install that. So Tomcat is, AlphaScope is installable on Tomcat. I did all the steps and look what's happening. So you're getting welcome to AlphaScope, but it says cannot find AlphaScope repository on this server. Let's go to the website where there are you know, instructions of how to install Alfresco. Uh, let's go Alfresco view, then deploying. Let's go for installation using distribution zip. Now, when you download this distribution zip from the website, they also advise you to install Tomcat. Let's go back here and then these are the steps. You have to go here, download the Tomcat. Then you have to do all these steps. Make sure that you have maximum HTTP data size as 32768. Then you have to follow all these steps. For me, uh, I'm keeping things simple. I am not going to make it SSL enabled. And then we go back here. After installing the Tomcat application servers, you go to installation of Alfresco war files. So my war files are there here, which I've downloaded. Uh, in downloads, if you go and see at Fresco community, here you go to web server, you go to web apps, you get the .war file. When I start, when I complete all the steps, that is, when I go here and what I do is that I copy the the bar files which are there in web server web apps, which I showed you just now. Alfresco war root war and share. And then I copy the global dot properties sample and make sure that I point to Postgres. What usually happens is that the war file, which we install alfresco dot war file. I'll show you the issue of what I am facing. and how I have it resolved it. Let's go down here. Do you see this issue? No Spring application installation type detected on class path. So if you have this issue, then your properties file will not be considered my properties file, which is pointing to global.properties, I mean. 
it is pointing to Postgres, but you will not be able to point it to Postgres because of this issue. So ultimately what happens, whatever war file you have downloaded, it will not point that. So let me demonstrate the issue. I go to downloads and then what I do is that I go to the zip file. Let me back up the existing zip file first. Rename dot pkq. Then what I'll do is I will extract here. Okay, I extract it. Now I will go and copy the alfresco war file. And then I'll go to my Tomcat. I'll go to web apps. I've done all the process here, but to demonstrate, I'm replacing the war file, Alfresco war file, and look what happens. Is the Tomcat running? Yes, it's running. So let's steal the log files. So it deployed the war file. At first go war file. Now let's see. I just want to clear all the log files. So to make the problem more visible, I'm going to stop the Tomcat, clean all the log files. And then show you what the issue is. I'll go to log files, clean everything. Go back to bin file, start my Tomcat. Let's go to log files. Now I'm going to scale this. Okay, now it is giving the issue no spring. It deployed the war file, right? You can see this. And it's listening on 8080, correct? It is started. It's giving in milliseconds. Server startup. So let's go and see now the server has started. Is my alfresco working? No, it's not working. You can see this. What is the issue here? Let's go back and see the log files. See, the first issue, what it says is that no Spring Web application initializer types directed on the class file. As per this instructions, which I followed everything, it is supposed to take SQL driver, Postgres, and you know, point to my SQL installation, which I have, I have not had done. I will show you in a later video. 
but what is happening now it is pointing to a mysql driver guys observe carefully that when i put my global properties inside the alfresco installation it is pointing to postgres but what's happening that is in the installation is showing that it is pointing to mysql why is this happening so there is an issue with tomcat tomcat is just not able to pick up the web application initializer which i showed you here uh, this is the issue so it will not consider your properties fine now two ways to resolve this issue either you resolve the web application in share issue or why is this going to mysql driver because in the alpha score jar file if we do not give a properties file it will pick up a default one and the default one here is mysql and uh, the mysql driver is the default setting but where is this default setting and how do i change this default setting if i am able to do that then i will be able to resolve the issue okay so right now what i'll do is i will go back i will stop the tomcat server i need not stop the tomcat server i'll go back and again pick, pick up the alfresco war file where i have done the changes but i will show you what changes we do and how do we do which will be very useful for you to resolve the issue let's go here and then go to alpha score file then go to web inf then go to lib search for repository chart file this is the one inside this go to alpha score and then search for repo repository properties this is the place where the default settings are stored so the default settings here are let us check what are the default settings default settings here are mysql that's why it is going here and is checking for mysql driver so i told two approaches to resolve this problem you can resolve the basic tomcat issue or you can change this one to point default to your postgres how do i do that very simple just make changes here in repository i will make the changes here change the driver then change the path i mean the url jdbc url and then save this cancel this cancel this cancel this cancel this see it is saying i need to update the jar file just update the jar file so this updated the jar file now it is updating 
that is refreshing. You updated this alpha alpha score file. You just have to drop this alpha score file again in the Tomcat directory and then it should work. So let's go here and then pick up the war file, alfresco.war file, copy this, go to downloads, go on the top, go to Apache Tomcat, then go to web apps, then copy your alfresco war file here. It says replace, you replace. Observe that, you know, installation starts happening. Let's steal the file. Do you see this? It reinstalled the war file. And now, you see this? It is pointing to my Postgres SQL driver. In the next video, I will show you after doing this. I mean, I have been successful in overriding the default settings of Alfresco. Now I will install the Postgres SQL on my machine and get the Alfresco working. So wait for the next video and I'll show you that. Thank you.